guys, this is Mari from My Heart Races blog and today we're gonna to talk about the importance of tapering your miles before a half marathon or marathon. Tapering your miles before a half marathon or marathon is essential to having a successful race day. Tapering means your mileage um, decreases before the race and usually this starts um, about three weeks before the race, sometimes two with a half marathon, but two or three weeks before the race, you cut your mileage by about 25 to 35% per week. There's a lot of reasons for this, and it's really important. During tapering, your glycogen stores are gonna get nice and full because they're used to um, getting emptied, and so they fill and they fill and they fill and they fill and they think they're getting emptied, but if they're not getting emptied as much as they think, They'll be nice and full for race day, and that's what you want. You want your glycogen stores to be nice and full. And if you watch my video on fueling, you'll know what the glycogen stores are. Um, what also happens is that your nutrition levels and your hormone levels that have all been depleted are gonna get back up to normal levels. And um, the third and most important reason for tapering is for your legs to have a break. You want to show up on race day with fresh legs that have been rested and that are almost twitching, ready to go and ready to race and ready to run fast. You do not want to be waiting at the start line with legs that are tired and legs that feel worn out. And during your peak training week, which is about two or three weeks before tapering, they will feel tired and they will feel worn out. But that week is your last week of training. It actually takes the body about six weeks to adapt to any behavior that you've been doing consistently. So that means that the last few weeks before the race, they don't matter. They don't matter. At this point, you're just maintaining your endurance and you're just resting and you're recovering so that you're ready for race day. Okay, here are some of my rules for a successful taper before a race. You wanna cut out all cross training. Um, follow your training plan as, as scheduled, but don't add anything additional. Don't take a spin class or go to Pilates or um, anything that's gonna put stress on your legs or stress on your body, don't do it. I usually say stick to just mild stretching at home, everything that you're used to, and you can do some ab work, um, but that's about it. Don't add anything extra. It might not feel, like if you take a spin class or if you take a Pilates class, it might not feel like you're putting that much extra stress on your body, but you really are. I know from experience that even though it might feel like you're not putting that much extra stress on your legs or on your body when you're doing extra things, um, but it really does make a difference if you just, stay at home, you run your mileage nice and easy, stay at home, and just put your feet up, literally put your feet up, and just rest yourself whenever you can. It will make a big difference. You wanna be at the start line with legs that are just ready to go and ready to race, and, um, and if you do, it'll make that big of a difference on race day. The next rule I wanna talk about during tapering is nutrition. Um, you want to eat healthy, you want to eat lots of carbohydrates and lots of protein. What carbohydrates will do is they will help build up your glycogen stores so that you show up on race day with lots of fuel to burn. And you want lots of protein because that's going to build up your muscle, your muscle that's been torn down, it's been broken, and you want proteins, you want to build it all up. You also need lots of fruits and veggies filled with vitamins and all sorts of good stuff so that your body is getting everything it needs so that you're ready on race day. One last rule when it comes to tapering is do not stress. It's so common for runners to be tapering and stressing about number one, they're losing all this endurance because they're not running as much as they used to. It's not gonna happen. You have to trust your training and you have to trust that you have done everything possible to be ready for this race and you will be ready for the race. So don't stress and also, your legs might be getting just so ready and it might just take everything inside of you to not step outside and run when you know you shouldn't be. So just calm down, don't stress, and enjoy it. Enjoy your taper and enjoy the resting because 
When race day comes, you're gonna be ready and you're gonna have lots of fun. Well guys, thanks so much for watching my video on how to successfully taper before a half marathon or marathon. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Happy running.